Good morning. Hope everyone's doing good today. And for your Thursday, I have a phenomenal video for you. Today, we're going to highlight the 10 most valuable stay quarters. Yes, you got it. How valuable can they be? Well, this might just surprise you. So without further ado, after this video, you're going to have to go through your rolls, go through those old bags that you bought 10, 15 years ago, and you're going to want to look for some of these quarters. So for the number 10 spot, we got the 2001P New York State Quarter. This one sold January 8th of 2017 through Heritage Auctions. It grades out at a PCGS Mid-State 69, and this one sold for $2,585. Really cool coin. Up next, at your number 9 position, this is a 2006D North Dakota State Quarter. This one sold through GreatCollections.com April 29th of this year, 2018. This one graded out PCGS Mid-State 68, and... You got that right. This one sold for $2,799. That's a lot of money for a quarter. All right. And at our number eight spot, we have the 2004P Texas State Quarter. This one, again, is a Philly minted coin that sold on Heritage Auctions January 8th of 2017. This one, believe it or not, graded out NGC Mint State 69 a truly nice grade for the coin and this one sold for three thousand fifty five dollars it just keeps getting better and better all right up next at our number seven position we have the 2002 d this is a denver minted ohio state quarter this one also sold january 8th of 2017 through heritage auctions this one grades out at an ngc mint state 69 and this one $3,525. Woo! All right, at the number six position, it just keeps getting better and better. This is a 2000 Philadelphia, South Carolina state quarter. This one also sold January 8th, 2017 through Heritage Auctions. This one graded out NGC, Mint State 69, PL, which means it's a proof like type coin. Uh, judging from the surfaces, it looks pretty nice. This one sold for $3,525 as well. At our number five slot, we got the 2006D North Dakota State Quarter. This one also sold January 8th of 2017 through Heritage Auctions. You're going to find that this one graded out at a PCGS Mint State 68, and this one hammered at $3,760. So the top four must be really nice. So at the number four position, we got the 2000P Massachusetts State Quarter. This one sold January 8th of 17 through Heritage Auctions as well. This one graded out pretty close to perfect. This is an NGC Mint State 69, and this one also sold for $3,760. And at, rounded out at our number three slot, we got the 2002D Indiana State Quarter. This one also sold through Heritage Auctions January 8th of 2017. This one graded NGC Mint State 69 for $3,760. Really nice coin there. And then at our number two spot, we got the 2003P, this is a Philly minted coin, Missouri State Quarter. This one sold through Heritage Auctions long time ago. December 4th of 2007. So this one graded out PCGS Mint State 68, a really nice grade, for $4,312.50. This is one of the tougher dates to find those higher grade coins. And finally, we are going to wrap it up here with the 1999P Pennsylvania State Quarter. Of course, this is the first year of the State Quarter program, so it's no surprise that this one ended up up top all right and this one sold through heritage auctions january 8th 2017 and this one graded out ngc mint state 69 and this one sold for a blisteringly hot seven thousand and fifty dollars yes you heard that right 
So all for all the coins mentioned today, all right, these are business strike coins intended for circulation. There are no proof coins or varieties highlighted in this particular video. So with that being said, okay, the, uh, the state quarter registry scene for top grades is getting absolutely ridiculous right now. People are starting to collect these and paying all the money in the world. If you like today's content and the top 10 list, uh, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel, Blue Ridge Silverhound. You see